All right, joining us uh, now, retired Brigadier General Peter Zwack, uh, was a former U.S. Embassy at, uh, attache to the Russian Federation, is the author of Swimming the Volga, a U.S. Army officer's experience is in pre-Putin Russia. He's an expert on the Russian military and battle tactics, and we welcome him back to Morning Rush. Always good to see you. Uh, so Germany is now sending tanks. The U.S. expected to announce the same today. Uh, overall, big picture, what effect will these moves have on commitments from other NATO allies. Do you think that this is kind of um, not only creeping and dancing on the line that we always talk about, but maybe stepping a little bit over? Uh, yes, uh, good morning. Um, it's a major step. Uh, both um, uh, Germany and now uh, our, my country, the United States, uh, have made um, um, have made major, major moves uh, to really, really break the log jam. And it's as much psychological and historical as it is material. Um, tanks and uh, heavy tanks in, uh, um, in, uh, in Eastern Europe, uh, in Ukraine, Western made, US German made. Uh, there, there is, um, uh, for the Germans especially, historical baggage. The Germans in World War II were, were, brought the Panzer, brought the tank, and they were really, really good at it. And of course, at that time, Germany was uh, was uh, represented aggression. Uh, this is a different Germany today, and I uh, I, um, I um, emphasize to your viewers that the fact that Germany went through this soul searching process and finally made the decision is a good one. Um, it was painful for everybody to wait through this, and time isn't right now uh, on Ukraine's side if they're trying to get a, an offensive going in the next months. But the Germans went through a process. They're doing it, um, um, and um, they have given a, a green light for their own Rhein Metall to increase production, uh, German uh, 30, whatever. It could be much more over during, during the course of the year. Uh, the allies in Europe, I mean, as we've read, there are 2,000 Leopards uh, in, in Europe, uh, probably, you know, a thousand of them uh, deployable. The others need a lot of maintenance. That's there. Their countries, as your commentator earlier mentioned, want to send them. So that spigot has opened up. Now, the U.S. Uh, committing the uh, M M1 uh, to M Abrams, an extraordinarily good tank, but it is, uh, it is, um, um, high, um, highly logistically, uh, um, um, there are a lot, lot that goes on with it, turbine and all of that. That can be worked through, but it will require, you know, specialized units, uh, specialized training, uh, specialized um, uh, logistics, uh, meaning uh, different units will have to manage it. That's been done before in varying ways, but that's going in. The British Challenger is going in, a squadron, 14 of them. Um, and um, we're hearing, and, and, and possibly other armor, and then a whole lot of infantry fighting vehicles that we've read about, Bradley, Martyrs, and all of that. In the aggregate, that's a lot of stuff. It's gonna take time, though to get there. It isn't just going to magically uh, appear, but uh, there's an urgency. The Ukrainians have exhibited an ability to absorb uh, and adapt uh, technology. Um, they're in an existential fight, so they're going to learn and learn fast. And of course, there'll be a lot of trainers with it. So it is a major move. And for Russia that will squawk and complain about it, this wouldn't be going on if they had not, on the 24th of February last year, committed the, the greatest uh, aggression in whatever you call the West that we've seen since the Nazi um, Russian uh, and Soviet invasion of Poland in 1939. Mm -hmm. So you were talking about the difference between the tanks that the U.S. is likely going to be sending and that Germany is sending uh, the Abrams tanks more complicated you're explaining so what is the difference between sending those German tanks how will Putin react to getting those tanks that will be a lot easier to use much quicker well Putin for it's already started uh, Putin um, you know the uh, the Russians are backed a bit against a wall here. Uh, they know that these are superior vehicles, but it's symbolic as much. And already the tropes that the uh, that that uh, his media and their and and his spokespeople are saying, ah, oh, you see, here come the Nazis. 
And they're playing that World War II Nazi thing with the Germans supplying the uh, leopards. And, and I think that Scholl and the Germans are sensitive to that to a point. Uh, again, this is not that German at all. Uh, they are reluctant. Um, um, and um, yes, but it's gotten Putin's attention because in a focused battlefield, these things uh, well used are king of the battlefield, um, especially and, uh, and would be. Um, but challenge will be is you'll get, again, packets of different tanks from different countries. Uh, you can't mix them all into a single unit. they will be separate units with separate chains and that will just have to be worked out. Um, no, the Russians don't like it. It also um, is uh, symbolic that the West continues to pull together in the face of their aggression to uh, survive, to uh, help uh, Ukraine uh, survive this existential threat. Um, and really quickly, we only have about 30 seconds left. How long before the tanks are put into service? Oh, well, to get them ready will take time. Yeah. And it, it, again, it's not going to be magical. I think it'll be several months okay. Uh, okay. before um, um, now you have those in Europe. Some countries, um, leopards are in better uh, condition uh, than others. Uh, you've got a training thing, but there's an urgency to it. So people are going to be moving fast to turn it around. And um, um, uh, perhaps the Poles, and uh, some of the uh, other countries uh, uh, closer to the east will be able to turn around quicker than some of the others. But they're coming. Uh, the, Germ the Germans uh, have, 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 have what, approximately 30 semi-ready. Um, they'd have to get, you know, get into um, logistics areas, uh, reorganized, repainted, re-equipped. Uh, the Ukrainian crews trained, but, but the Ukrainians um, have a military culture, as we see now, and will adapt, uh, uh, I think, pretty quickly to it. It will take time. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, retired Brigadier General Peter Zwack, the author of Swimming the Volga, uh, U.S. Army Officers' Experiences in Pre-Putin Russia. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.